bit of an update for everyone. Um, not a funny video, it's just kind of an in-between thing for people who are really following the storyline. So apologies for anyone out there who just goes, I just want fucking funny fucking shit. Um, by the way, my YouTube channel has been permanently demonetized by YouTube because it's been deemed as not advertiser friendly. So there's no income coming in from it. Um, and if you've been listening to content makers on YouTube from PewDiePie right down to small channels like mine, uh, that's the story. Advertisers have just, um, they're basically just turning the content of social media into what mainstream media used to be, just some pretty fucking very narrow guidelines uh, to not what gets put up, they're not like shutting me down, but they're basically saying you can't cut any money off us. So uh, the only way we're gonna earn money is off donations. And there's also a lot of people out there watching our channels and just go, no, I'm not gonna pay you. And I can't believe you're asking other people to pay. Don't pay him. It's fucking, you know, it's like, well, how about you just fuck off, watch a channel you like, or um, maybe put some effort into making your own content. Um, if that's not too much work for you. Eden, how are you, alright? Yeah, well. Yeah, just fucking making sure he doesn't get eaten by a snake. Um, so, yeah, I'm going on the road to basically do gigs uh, in pubs, which is my trade, really. But it's a bit hard with um, two kids, a goat, and a girlfriend, and babysitters. And I can do it, but I'm not going to be able to do many videos. It's just going to be fucking getting sleep. <laughs> It's a fair bit and also getting, but that's how I get my income and selling merch and stuff. Ideally, I just like to do videos and then just get a bit of income from, on Facebook, it's like fucking nearly 2 million people just to keep going. So um, that's going to be the future of social media if it survives because otherwise uh, it's, the sponsors are just taking over. And um, I'd rather just have a whole lot of people, like say I had a million bucks coming in, say, from one sponsor, I'd rather just come from a million bucks from a million people, then you've got a diversified portfolio, instead of one sponsor who can just fucking drop you like that, or just start going, mate, bend over and say what we want to say, otherwise you're fucking out in your ass, cunt. So, that's an issue, but getting a bit closer to home, Gary is misbehaving on Linda's farm, he, he basically... He's just starting to think he fucking rules the joint. He's, he's, he's rooting all the fucking 12 girls there. And when Linda comes down to pat her 12 girls, the other day he came up and just fucking... fucking came up and from behind and put her on her ass. Now, it would have been a fucking good video, I know, and uh, Linda would agree. But um, I've got to get up to Queensland soon. She wants me to get up there soon to just fucking, he's just fucking running amok. So is there anyone in the Laidley area, um, Ipswich area, who wants to look after Gary for a couple of weeks? I can't afford to go up there. I'm on a farm at the moment, just waiting for my girlfriend Yumi to come out. And then we're going to all go out and put the baby seats in the truck and get a spare truck while that happens and fucking coordinate it and get out there. And then once we get the gigs rolling, um, we'll see what happens. I'm a bit concerned. When it's just me and Gary, it's just, it's cool. But um, Yumi, my girlfriend, doesn't really like Gary. And I can call, I, I know why. It was about three or four years ago when she came out. Basically, I, I usually walk down the street with Gary and Gary's behind me. But when I've got someone else, Yumi, she had to walk behind him. So it was me, Gary, and then Yumi behind Gary, like me fucking third Muslim wife. Uh, and you know, she was holding a kid and if she got out of line, he'd, he'd ram her, he's a big goat. And um, yeah, I know what you're thinking, fucking, this is gonna be great, Jimbo, just fucking film it. So if Gary gets jealous of two kids and my girlfriend and um, I'm doing gigs and cops are coming down on me, fucking tax department coming down on me and um, you know, no income from YouTube and all these things like Patreon just going, oh yeah, fucking, will take 5% and fucking no one wanting to put money into my account for what I do, I've got to sell shit. Um, and, you know, I, I can get this up if I get fan support direct from a diversified portfolio, not from people who are just going to chuck a fucking 
I know you shouldn't listen to trolls, but there's just a few who just, you just fucking right up your ass and you, you're looking into why and then it just comes out like, oh, you said this 40 posts ago, something I didn't like. It's like a, a partner is just fucking continually up you because you fucking looked at someone while you're crossing the road a bit too much fucking 10 years ago. It's like, how about you just fuck off? <laughs> you can't do that with a, you can do that with a partner, but you can't do that with fucking someone on YouTube. Um, but, you know, if, I could go into just basically going, how about I just get a thousand fans who just give me 10 bucks a month and I do about 10 videos a month and you give me fucking a buck a video and from there I could get a bit of money to pay for all the expenses and stuff and then eventually get to the stage where I've got enough where I can just put it out there publicly. I don't know, I might have to re retreat into capitalism for this. At the moment it's just pretty well purely socialism it's like I fucking create stuff put it out there for free and then people take it for free uh, you know I'm trying to do a, a hybrid of socialism and capitalism where it's like I put it out there for free if you want to use it that's cool for free no worries and if you want to just pay a bit that's good as well via Patreon or PayPal or bank account or merch is not really working I think I've just got to go to gigs a few people are buying merch about 20 shirts um, yeah, so that's the deal, everyone. I I'm going to keep going. I always have. It's just a bit, uh, we'll just see what happens. But the immediate thing is, is there anyone up, um, near a Laidley in between Ipswich and Toowoomba who can, Gatton area, who can give Linda and Neville a bit of help with Gary? He's, he's, They've got, he's jumping, you can put him in their pen beside him, but he jumps the fence because there's fucking 12 girls there he's, who are backing up to him and rooting him, but he's just getting a bit, uh, he's like a, you know, he's, he's like a bloke in a nightclub on a fucking meth binge at the moment. He's having a little bit too much of a good time. So, uh, yeah, just a shout out for everyone. That's, uh, what's going on. Um, I know this, I know this would be a fucking, fucking funny to video and I would be able to fucking video this whole chaos of this whole thing go up to Linda and get everyone in there the kids and everything but money wise I'm fucking um, I'm finding it hard to fucking just keep on top of it but I'm going to keep going because that's what I've fucking always done and that's what I'm always going to do right until we get fucking Gary's Prime Minister oh, fuck it man let's do it Oh yeah, come here, Maya. Oh, oh, Eden. Oh no, someone's just waking up. Yeah. Where are you, Maya? What's happened? What's happened? Oh, did you wake up and no one was there? Yeah. 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 Oh, at least Gary's not headbutting you, hey, Maya? <laughs>